I'm really not a proponent, so I probably won't be the, the best person to talk to you about setting up a traditional business plan because they mean nothing. Because most of the time they're just full of words. A lot of our business plans are just words. You got 25 pages of what you finna do and what you projecting to do. And no bank is going to give you money because the bank is looking at the financial page. They're looking at how much money you got coming in, how much money you got going out, and how much money you got left. So if you're going to have a business plan, this is a whole nother seminar, but just to kind of squeeze it into a few moments, a real business plan is this. You take an idea, you convert that idea into a product or service. Experts call, call this minimum viable product. So most of the technology that you and I use from an expert perspective was a minimum viable product that they had an idea for. They created it, they engineered it, and they introduced it to the market. And once we started paying for it, we started financing the upgrading. But they had a good enough product to introduce to the market. So like, this is like napkin business plan. I'm not saying there are not certain institutions or banks that won't require a sophisticated business plan with your projections and with all of the, the, the nice language and the details. But what I'm saying to you, most solopreneurs, small business owners who are just getting started, they are focusing on everything except the main thing. This is why people who are not financially literate that are talking to you about entrepreneurship and business, all they're going to talk about is, oh, you got to get a business credit card. Oh, you go to the bank, get $25,000 credit line. Oh, you get a U line or a trade line. Ain't none of that going to make your business money necessarily. As a matter of fact, most people who get credit cards and U lines and trade lines and Home Depot cards for their business end up owing all of those companies, closing the business down. You know why? Because they didn't even have a minimum viable product to take to the market in exchange for somebody's money. So if you have an idea, if your idea is a product or service, you have to go through the process of packaging that idea, putting a price to that idea, introducing it to the market to see if the market is responding to you. Because if you think it's a good idea, but nobody's buying that good idea, it may not be a good idea, or you may need to bring it back into the research and development incubator, work on it a little more, reintroduce it until somebody buys it. Because everything in business is about sales. So I'm not getting into like all the details. I do teachings on that when it comes to certain sophisticated levels of business plans, but I'm telling you, if you have an idea for a business, decide what your products and services are. If you've decided what they are, make sure that you have a value proposition, meaning that you have a minimum viable product or service that you can attach a dollar amount to, and you can put a value proposition together to share with people on social media, to share with your family, so that in exchange of that product or service, they can give you money. And then you can start putting a plan together. So this is what I walk a lot of my clients through. So they have a product, they have a service, they put a price to it. Once they put a price to it, we look at the price, we try to create at least three prices because we want a, we want a median price. So for example, if you got a $20 product, uh, you may need a $200 product and service to go with that. You may need a $100 product and service. So it doesn't mean if you're selling t-shirts, for example, you're selling $20 t-shirts and you want to be a millionaire. Okay, now we need to do the math. How many t-shirts do you need to sell to make a million dollars? Right? So it's, let's, let's just do the math on that. I love math. I love calculators. I'm just giving an example on the business, on the, on the business plan. So that's 50,000 t-shirts you need to sell at 20,000. I mean, at $20. That may happen, but it's not realistic from a business perspective. So what that means is either you're in the wrong business, that's the wrong vehicle, right? Or you just don't have enough items or offers in your business. So now you may need to have a $20 t-shirt, but also a $200 masterclass on selling t-shirts 
plus you giving them five t-shirts for free. But then you may have a $2,000 product that says, I'll come iron your t-shirt, put your t-shirt on, give you five of mine, help you run your business, because if you don't have more offers, you're gonna spin your wheels around here for eight years with a business that's not even legitimate, and a business plan is not gonna help that. Am I making sense? So if you have a price that you can attach to it, now you have to figure out what is your value proposition. Then you need to learn sales, you need to learn how to sell your products. You, like, there's no way you're gonna really scale it if you don't understand these things. You have to learn marketing, you have to learn sales, you have to learn operations, you have to learn these systems and processes. Building a business is very complex and complicated, and so it takes time, but it all starts with what? Income. Everything goes back to income, because my business is only going to be successful based on the revenue that comes in. If you ever look at a financial statement of a business, at the top of that financial statement, you're gonna see profit, sales, revenue, gross income, all that's money. Everything under that means nothing if you don't get that. Got it? 